Welcome to the module Transformative Learning, and Students as Change Agents. We discuss the question, what is transformative learning? This is a really important question if we assume that sustainability and education for sustainable development are also characterized by the fact that in various areas, be it climate change, social inequality or many other issues relevant to sustainability, we have to develop solutions for a world that we do not yet know at the moment. If you want us, today's students to become change agents for tomorrow's world, we also need to rethink school and learning processes. You cannot only rely on curricular guidelines developed in the past. Right, we need to think about what skills students need to shape an uncertain future. So, welcome all those interested in transformative learning and supporting us students to be change agents. Let's start with a short definition of transformative learning and its roots. Transformative learning theory emerged in the 1970s in the USA and was further developed in Canada and South America. Its most important representative is Jack Metziro, who is also considered the founder of this theory. First, Metziro emphasizes that learning is an active process that involves not only acquiring knowledge, but also a fundamental change in thinking patterns and perspectives. This process is known as transformative learning. Critical reflection. A central element of transformative learning is critical reflection. This involves questioning existing assumptions, beliefs, and biases. Critical reflection enables the development of new viewpoints and perspectives. Disorientation and crises. Transformative learning processes can be triggered by disorienting experiences or crises. These experiences lead to a questioning of existing thought patterns and a necessity to seek new ways of understanding. Change of perspective. Over the course of transformative learning, a fundamental change of perspective occurs. Learners realize that their existing beliefs are no longer sufficient to make sense of the world, and they are willing to accept new viewpoints. Emotional dimension. Transformative learning processes often involve strong emotional reactions as they bring about profound changes in self-concept and worldview. Critical discourse. Metziro underscores the importance of critical discourses and dialogic communication in promoting transformative learning. Exchanging ideas and perspectives with others can support the learning process. Autonomy and agency. An objective of transformative learning is to increase the autonomy and agency of learners. They should be able to translate their new understanding into concrete actions. In summary, Metziro focuses on the idea that transformative learning is a profound process where existing thinking patterns and beliefs are questioned and changed. This process is facilitated through critical reflection and the exchange of perspectives and may be triggered by disorienting experiences. The goal is the development of greater autonomy and the ability to actively shape one's own life. Can we compare Metziro's definition of transformative learning with our model? Oh yes, I think we'll find a lot of overlap. Look, there are similar ideas in the ESD areas. And the related competences, such as embracing complexity and sustainability and envisioning, sustainable future with the competences system thinking, critical thinking, problem framing, futures literacy, adaptability and exploratory thinking. I'm sure there are even more similarities. Is there any more scientific work on transformative learning in the context of sustainability, Kim? Yes, the authors Rodriguez Abaitz and Bath conducted a systematic literature review to examine the key aspects of transformative learning in the context of sustainability. It covers research from the years 1999 to 2019. I can summarize their main points and aspects. First, their definition of transformative learning Transformative learning in the context of sustainability refers to the process by which individuals undergo profound cognitive and emotional shifts in their thinking and behavior, 
leading to a deeper understanding and commitment to sustainable practices and principles. The key findings in the literature review are Interdisciplinary approach Transformative learning in sustainability often involves an interdisciplinary approach, as it integrates knowledge from various fields such as environmental science, ethics, economics, and social sciences. Critical reflection, like Metsi Rowe's work, critical reflection plays a significant role in transformative learning in sustainability. Experiential learning Hands-on experiences and real-world engagement are crucial for transformative learning. Individuals may need to immerse themselves in sustainability projects, practical experiences, or community initiatives to fully understand and embrace sustainable practices. That's what you could observe in the inspirational videos from our partner schools. Values and Ethics Transformative learning often leads to a re-evaluation of personal values and ethical beliefs. Learners may develop a stronger sense of environmental and social responsibility. That's what one student said in one of our interviews. The student worked on the self-selected topic of LGBTQ in different countries. Our own topic would not have been in class. I could decide, everyone has their own topic, which is cool. Our topic is revolutionary important for us personally and the topic is important for the world. My view of other countries has changed. I take the knowledge with me and bring it to others. Challenges and disorientation, just as Metsiro mentioned, transformative learning can be triggered by challenges and disorienting experiences, such as witnessing environmental degradation or social injustices related to sustainability issues. Systemic thinking, transformative learning encourages systemic thinking, where individuals recognize the interconnectedness of environmental, social, and economic aspects of sustainability. Social and collective dimension, transformative learning in sustainability often extends beyond individual change. It may involve collective and social learning, where communities and societies collectively seek sustainability solutions. Continual process, the authors highlight that transformative learning is an ongoing, lifelong process. It is not a one-time event, but rather a continual journey of reflection and change. Last but not least we need to clarify what is meant by students as change agents. Leah, this is best done by you. Sure. Students as change agents is a concept that refers to students in schools who are actively involved in shaping changes and improvements within their school environment, the community, their city and society. If we as students are to become change agents, we need the following opportunities. First, participation and decision-making. Students as change agents are actively involved in decision-making processes within their school. They have the opportunity to contribute to school affairs and make changes. Second, empowerment. Students are encouraged to see themselves as significant players in their school community. Our empowerment comes from knowing that we can bring about positive changes. Democratic learning. The concept promotes democratic learning and the development of citizenship skills in students. We learn how to take responsibility and influence decisions in a democratic society. Project-based learning, we can gain practical experience and initiate changes in the school through project-based learning. This encourages problem-based and action-oriented learning. Responsibility, as change agents we develop a heightened sense of responsibility for our school environment. We contribute to creating a positive school climate and resolving conflicts. Collaboration, collaboration and teamwork are crucial aspects of the concept. We work together with teachers, school administrators, and other students to implement changes. Openness to change. We learn to see changes in our school as opportunities for continuous improvement. We learn to be open to new ideas and solutions. That's more difficult for our teachers, by the way. Learning beyond the curriculum. Involvement in change agent activities allows us students to learn outside of the regular curriculum and develop practical skills. That's very motivating. Involvement of school leadership. The engagement of school leaders and teachers is essential to support us as change agents. We have to be sure that our concerns are heard. 
Long-term impact. The concept aims to bring about long-term changes and improvements in the school culture and environment by actively involving us students in addressing school-specific challenges. Overall, the concept of students in school as change agents emphasizes the importance of student participation in school decision-making processes and in shaping their school environment. It promotes the development of skills and values that extend beyond their school years and contributes to the creation of an inclusive and democratic school culture. To connect these theoretical references with concrete ideas, it might be worth watching the inspirational or National Spark videos again. In our partner schools, there were many projects where learning meant transformation and students acted as change agents. Now it will be exciting to see where you are already facilitating transformative learning in your school. Surely your students can also be competent and inspiring change agents.